Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video I'm not gonna be drawing or painting, but in this video I want to help all of the beginner artists and maybe some of professional artists who feel that they lost and don't know in which art style they should work. First of all, what is art style? Uh, I would say art style is unique signature of every artist. I don't mean signature in a direct, straightforward meaning. When we look at the artwork of an artist, we could recognize their work even if we didn't look at who's painted it, because their artwork speak for themselves. When I was a teenager and only started drawing digitally, I was very obsessed with the question, how can I find my art style? My problem was that I didn't know basic of basic rules of art and was trying to art style fi to find art style at the same time. If you want to find your art style, first of all, you need to learn and know basics of painting and drawing, uh, such as uh, value structure, composition, uh, perspective, anatomy, color, light and all of that. But at the same time, when you draw, you need to know in which direction you want to work. I, this is very experimental video, I created a quiz, a test, if you like. Uh, let's call it how to find your art style. You can see this quiz here. This is a generalization, simplification of every art style, but there are so many art styles, art techniques, and that if I would include all of these art styles, this quiz would be endless. So I included only the most popular and the most appealing to me that um, art styles that maybe will help you. Uh, four options to choose. First, that the most important in art for you is idea and you don't like and do, don't want to spend much time learning how to draw, that drawing is useless. This is first option. Second option. Uh, the most important thing in art for you is shape, uh, and you don't like flat images. Uh, third is the most important thing for you, accuracy and precision in drawing. And fourth, uh, and the fourth option is color and light, the most important things for you in art. So, if you choose the idea and lack of study, then it means that contemporary arts used or abstract arts use you the most. Uh, examples would be Cubism, Suprematism, and all of these uh, art styles that were popular in the uh, 20th centuries. You can Google it yourself and maybe you'll choose something that you would like. Or the other option, I haven't thought about it, would be not only contemporary art, abstract art, but also AI art. You don't need to draw anything, but you have an idea, so you can create it. Uh, this is not my area of interest, so I'll move on to the next options. So, <laughs> uh, I really hope that this quiz does not look like <laughs> what type of bread you are or something like that, or oh, which character from Winx you are, <laughs> something like that. I hope it really looks more professional and maybe you are interested, and I really hope that maybe it will help someone. If you choose at the beginning that shape is the most important thing for you, then of course it means you have a soul of the sculpture, probably. And it means that if you like static art, static digital art, it means you have a soul of 3D artist. If you like static traditional art, then it means you are a sculptor. Uh, if you choose uh, dynamic art, then it means you're a 3D animator. So, again, this is not my uh, area of my inter interest or not my specialization, so I don't know anything about it. Um, so, let's move on to the most interesting things. You probably clicked for, for these two options. Uh, the first one is accuracy precision, the most important thing for you, and the other Option is color and light, the most important thing. Accuracy and precision, this is about drawing. Uh, and color and light, this is about being a painter. Accuracy and precision is the most important thing for you. 
uh, and you have two options. Uh, you would prefer dynamic art, and storytelling is very important for you. By me, by that I mean that it's important for you to tell stories, complicated stories with your art. I mean, every drawing probably tells some story, but it will have like very big stories with complicated plot. Or you prefer static art, and art for its own sake. If you choose static art and art for its its own sake, then what then your result is that you're probably a realistic artist or hyper-realistic artist or vector art would suit you. Vector art, for, uh, I mean vector art for those who uh, would like to draw digitally. Uh, realistic art would suit those who uh, like more traditional art Hyperrealism is just less about art, it's more about love for copying and love for details. So if you don't like to come up with complicated ideas and you just like to meditate and draw many details for hours and hours and copying photos and other images, then you are hyperrealist. If you choose that you like dynamic art and storytelling, then you also have two options. You like to make quick drawings and can and cannot draw for many hours. This would be for those who don't have, cannot pay attention for many hours at the drawing, don't like to spend, uh, who, who like to paint, who like to draw quickly. If you choose this, uh, then what would suit you become? You can be a storyboard artist, a cartoonist, or forensic artist. Uh, forensic artist is uh, someone who draws in a court quick sketches uh, because it is not allowed to take photos in a court, but you can make a quick sketches. If you choose dynamic art and storytelling, but you have patience and can spend hours on paint on painting and drawing, and also you like to work on small details, then you could be A, illustrator, or B, comic artist. Um, by this you will still tell stories. So, if you choose, if dynamic art and storytelling uh, and accuracy precision is not interesting for you, and you choose the fourth option in the beginning, that the most important thing for you is color and light, then good news, you're probably a painter. And you have two options. Again, you can be a digital artist or traditional artist. If you would choose digital art, you can digital art you you can choose you can you have two options. You love color and only color and this is what interests you the most, then you can be you can become color key art. But if you choose that you digital artist and you love and color and also you love challenge, like you like to make very complicated, interesting drawings, uh, then you could be a concept artist. This is very difficult, but you can work in this area and develop your skills in this area. You like color and light, but you prefer traditional art. If you like Ethereality, you like um, color and light and everything so full of light, then you most likely have a soul of watercolor artist. Uh, but if you are a traditional artist who loves color, but you prefer saturated drawings, you prefer uh, layers of paint, and then most likely you are. Uh, an oil painter or acrylic painter or gouache painter, someone who uses more thick paint than more, not watercolor, but, but more thick paint. So you have an options. What is the most important thing to you? You prefer, um, you think that emotions are the most important thing in art, uh, or you prefer realism in art uh, and accuracy in art. If you choose that emotions are important, uh, then 
you are then pref then most likely you would love impressionism or expressionism you would capture the fragile moment of time when everything's changing quickly but it would be not in a drawing style but more like you would capture it like a painter you would experience something and then paint it how you feel it but if you're a traditional artist who choose realism you have also <laughs> two options if you are very very patient you would like to work in many layers for example if you paint with oil paint you would paint one layer but then wait for a few days when it's dry and then work on it more and you spend hours and hours on this painting or maybe even years the most usable for you is academic art academic art but if you are not very patient well, i mean you are still patient but not so patient to paint for years the same painting or for months then most likely you would prefer realism uh, Realistic paintings also could be painted in a one layer or in more layers. And this, uh, that's it. That's <laughs> the quiz. I don't know if it helped you or not. I just wanted to talk about, give you directions in which you can be heading. However, stylization is boring. Uh, this is when an artist look at many other artists who have very different art styles. They look at it, take inspiration. For example, they like how uh, one artist paint eyes, paint, uh, draw eyes. The other is very good at stylizing, I don't know, hair. Other is very good at drawing elbows or something like that, and somehow. Uh, when artists create, uh, they also have something what they uh, like, not copying from other artists, but something their own. So they combine and mix all of these things, and this is how the new art style is born. This is how uh, new styles, for example, in cartoons and animations, this is how uh, new stylizations are born. Uh, and also I wanted to tell this, maybe a professional artist looking at this quiz and asking like, why would I need to know this information? I already know this. What I wanted to tell for you that I was painting in realism for many years. And then I could show you some examples of this painting. When I was painting it, I realized that I don't like to paint, to do, I don't like to paint this, that I'm bored of it, that uh, I was feeling like I'm wasting my time and I don't enjoy painting it. But, and I was thinking that hmm, maybe I just don't like to paint with oil paints. But then I realized that I like to paint with oil paints. It just, I don't like to paint in the realistic style. I mean, yeah, I like some elements of realism, but also what always uh, inspired me when I looked at other paintings color, light, emotions. So I was like, wait a second, that means that I prefer impressionism. And I started to uh, move in this direction. So I have, for example, these paintings, or I don't know, I'll show you somewhere on the screen. These paintings, I can say that this is full impressionism, but I'm heading in this direction and I like what I create now. I want to paint more. So I was like lost for years, but then I found something that I like and I realized that this is what suits me. So I hope that maybe for those who are watching it, you have a food for thought. Uh, maybe it will inspire you. And probably editing this video would be a nightmare, but <laughs> I'm ready for it. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. And I'll see you in the next videos. Bye.